Okay, Castor Bullcraft here today. Uh, part uh, 14, I believe it is, of the uh, pistol, uh, flintlock pistol build along. Um, what we did today was I went and drilled and put in the pins. This is the barrel pin, and this is the uh, ramrod uh, tube uh, pin. And got those in. I just don't have them driven in all the way. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I uh, did the uh, side plate. The original side plate was a really fancy thing and I didn't want to spend the time or the effort to inlet it so I just cut it and modified it and made it into this. This was a lot easier to, to inlet and um, uh, it's a simpler design so it was easier to do. Um, I ended up not drilling this hole to go all the way through to the other side of the lock bolt because I just don't want to uh, take the chance of hitting the ramrod and um, this this uh, hole here isn't where it would have been if I did do that it would have been lower and you could see that it would have gotten pretty close to that ramrod and I just didn't want to take a chance and have it hit and then have a hole where I didn't need one so what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna put a wood screw right here um, I'll get a nicer screw maybe I'll, I'll get two screws with the domed heads on them so that they look the same at least uh, similar and uh, hopefully that'll do um, the last thing I have to do now is drill the uh, the uh, tang bolt and I'll do that tomorrow um, also what I did today was I went and thinned down the stock a lot thinner than it was previously and in the same, in the last, uh, the last uh, episode, I went and made a relief here, and I just didn't like it, so I just sanded it down smooth. In fact, it looks better this way than it did the way I had it. I had to leave this carving here because to take it down would have uh, made the lock more exposed out of the uh, stock. So that's there, and I'll try to clean that up a little bit more, but it doesn't look good either. Anyway, um, so you can see that the barrel or the stock is a lot thinner than uh, it previously uh, was. And I think I'm going to take it down even more because it looks like it's just a little, a little too wide, a little too thick on the sides. Um, but you can see that it's a lot thinner than it used to be. Anyway, um, after I get this tang bolt drilled, I'll pretty much be done with at least the mechanicals and getting them all fitted together and, and working together and then basically all that's left to be done is the finish work finish sanding it uh, get these uh, uh, pins uh, cut down to size um, you know get the screws that I want to get and, and replace all the screws that I stripped um, and just basically cleaning everything up getting some of these little holes here and gouges patched up and uh, getting it looking like uh, that someone put a reasonable amount of time into this thing. Anyway, so um, uh, I may or may not post additional uh, videos of this build. Um, I probably will, but for sure I'll uh, post a video of the gun all done and then maybe we'll take it out to shoot. But basically that's the way it's going to look when you're shooting it. I like this gun. Even though it didn't turn out quite the way I wanted to with the uh, fit and the finish uh, that I wanted to do, um, I'm keeping it. This is going to be my gun and um, it's always something I wanted and uh, if you're a poor guy like me, if you want something you just have to make it and that's just the way it is. Anyway, um, so there it is, uh, part 14 of the uh, pistol uh, build along and like I said, um, uh, we're going to build, be uh, drilling the tang bolt and then finishing up uh, the gun. I'm going to be bluing the barrel and I'm going to be aging the brass too. So maybe I'll film all that stuff too. Um, but anyway, uh, so there you go. Cash took bowcraft. Thanks for watching.